I often get the question, why all of a sudden are we seeing such an interest in virtual events? And it is true, the demand is significant and growing. The answer is three words, a perfect storm. There are multiple forces occurring that is driving the adoption of these virtual events. Let's go through them. The first one is, and, and what I believe to be the anchor force, is the economy. Budgets are being slashed, business travel is on hold, money is tight. Uh, this is no surprise to anyone. The second force is technology. It's getting really easy enough to use the technology and, and many of us are using it. In other words, the general adoption of technology that enables virtual meetings and events to happen has reached a tipping point. The third force is, is really just business today. The world is flat. We have a decentralized workforce, our partners are decentralized, and most importantly, our customer base is decentralized. We have significant mind shift, as well as behavioral shifts, such as the digital generation entering the workforce. And the fourth, of course, is the force to be environmentally aware, to be green, and the virtual events support this movement. So it is really these four forces taken together, again, the economy being the strongest, that is causing this significant pendulum swing from physical events to virtual events. We are seeing the demand for virtual events increase dramatically. We are seeing physical events canceled and virtual events taking their place. And we are also seeing virtual events augmenting physical events, which we might call a hybrid or a blended event. Now, in the rush to virtual events, there are a couple things to remember. The first is an event is an event is an event. I think Gertrude Stein said that, uh, or, or maybe not, but what, what she meant is that things are what they are. Don't forget that a virtual experience is still an event. It has a life cycle, something that happens before the event, something that happens during the event, and something that happens after the event. And that being said, it typically requires strategies around such things as demand generation, audience engagement, and post-show communication. Now. Here at George P. Johnson, we use our time-tested 4D event methodology, discover, define, develop, and deliver, to ensure virtual events are treated as an event and that those events deliver the results intended. Also keep in mind that regardless of whether you are using a virtual event platform like InExpo or a virtual world like Second Life, don't forget about your social media strategy with these events. We spend a lot of time consulting on how to integrate or extend social media into your virtual event strategy. It's critical and it shouldn't be an afterthought. So where do we see this going? Well, over time we will see the pendulum correct a little, but the correction will be smaller than the original swing. So we are definitely gonna see a ratcheting back because there are things that happen in a physical encounter, people face to face, that cannot and may not ever be able to be recreated exactly virtually. That said, virtual event experiences are here to stay as they should be. We will also see the conversation shift from delineating between a physical experience and a virtual experience to a conversation more about the multiple touch points that make sense for an event. Some of those touch points will be physical and some will be virtual. Another thing we'll see is that the technology will get better. Immersiveness of an event will continue to evolve. And of course, the adoption will continue to increase. So regardless of where you are in your event planning or evaluating process, I encourage you to reach out to someone like George P. Johnson who lives and breathes events and understands the digital world as these two should play seamlessly together.